INEC officials, Christian Uwosu, Yisa Adedoi, and Tijani Bashir, were alleged to have taken bribes from a former Minister of Petroleum, Mrs. Deizani Alison Madweke, sometime in March 2015, for the purpose of manipulating the outcome of the 2015 general elections. In a seven-count charge put before the court, the ESCC detailed the amount collected by each of the men from the former minister, who is said to still be at large. The first defendant, Mr. Christian Umosu, had immediately pleaded guilty to a charge of directly receiving the sum of 30 million naira from a larger amount of 264 million naira shared by the men, monies which were said to be proceeds of crime. His colleagues, however, pleaded not guilty to the charges. While the court convicted Mr. Umosu, the other two were granted bail pending the commencement of their trial. The Commission then informed the courts of a plea bargain agreement between the EFCC and the first defendant, Mr. Nwosu. In his judgment on the sentence, Justice Idris held that the penalty set out in the plea bargain agreement ran contrary to the provisions of Section 16.2b of the Money Laundering Prohibition Amendment Act of 2012. The section stipulates a prison term of not less than two years or a fine of not less than 10 million naira. Justice Idris held that for this reason he finds the plea bargain agreement of a fine of 500,000 naira as inadequate. The court, however, gave the parties an opportunity to consider their options and decide whether they were willing to continue with the plea bargain. Counsel to the first defendant then asked for a short adjournment to enable him to discuss with his client on whether to proceed. The counsel declined to comment on the day's proceedings. But here's the reaction of the EFCC's counsel. By the provision 270 of the Administration of Criminal Justice Act, uh, if the defense elected to um, back out or restrain from this agreement, the means that the trial will start de novo and uh, the file may be remitted to the CGA for reassignment to another judge. That is what the law says. But I, I'm not, I don't know the decision that the defense will take. The EFCC has also given an indication that another of the defendants is already pursuing a plea bargain agreement. Proceedings have, however, been adjourned to the 3rd of May, by which time the plea bargain agreement may have been reworked to comply with the law if the parties elect to continue. Shola Shueli, Channels Television News.